Hey everyone, it's Josh, Dave Ventachanda Minis, East Orlando. Quick tech video or tip of how to do some uh, removal on a rusty exhaust pipe. I mean, you're going to run across this sooner or later with some of these bikes. Uh, I've got a little method I've used that's treated me well. Sorry about the uh, background noise, I can't control my neighbor's pressure cleaning and I got a free moment so I'm going to use it to make a video. We'll have a little bit of disturbance in the background. Uh, so I'll show you, I use a multi-tool and a Bosch carbide tipped metal cutting plunge saw tip for the oscillator multi-tool. So these Bosch, this is what I'm talking about, the plunge tip but the carb carbide tip made for cutting metal works on your oscillator. This is like a universal hole system that should work on many different brands of uh, multi-tools. But we're gonna work with this particular model. You can see the part number here. They come in various widths. If you want to get something that is uh, smaller than the actual exhaust port hole. And then I'm using it on just a M12 Milwaukee oscillating tool. It's already pre-installed. So let's just kind of go at it. I'm gonna just attack it without using any uh, penetrating oil or heat from a map torch or anything like that. I'm just gonna let this tool do its job and we'll see how how good it is with uh, like the plunge cut uh, approach. Just want to make sure I give you guys a good shot of what we're doing. This thing is from an ATC 70 engine. This, this uh, particular engine was basically sitting on the ground, lots of rain for who knows how many years. So this thing is really rusted in and corroded. Never, not coming out. The pipe's a little broken, but the actual up pipe is way up in there and rusted. So see how I, as you start, as you plunge it, make some slits, get some clearance, and you know, you can start going down, but it works to come and start changing your angle of approach to try and rotate it kind of in the same, like you're going towards the wall of the exhaust port instead of plunging straight down. So that helps you get deeper into the stuck piece of pipe and start spreading it. So we got to look a little bit closer look at the inspection of kind of the aftermath. So I do have a little bit of a slit here, but it doesn't go far down into the port. It's at the surface level. But considering what we were up against, I mean, I'll take that. You can always just smooth that out. Uh, nothing else got broken. The collar, the split collars were what was in there along with the flange of the pipe. But I, by using that multi-tool, you're able to give some slits. I had to use the screwdriver on this example and just kind of pry it around. It gives it an opportunity for this metal to rebend and move away from the split rings and the wall of here that all this corrosion is. Plus that vibration of that multi-tool puts a ton of you know vibration that works in your favor to break this stuff up. But, uh, I didn't use heat on this example, but just trying to give you guys an idea. Uh, maybe some heat, penetrating oil, add that to the mix and you got an easier job ahead of you. But at least I just wanted to show that using that multi-tool bit uh, approach is effective. But, you know, be careful. 
it vibrates so you gotta kind of approach this area knowing that you need to stabilize your tool and that blade will do some nicks if you're not careful all right, all right well that'll be a wrap just wanted to show you how uh, I approach this please subscribe if you don't uh, more videos to come thanks guys and gals